Ladies and gentlemen, today is my birthday. I became 28 today and uh, we are going to uh, analyze my match with my partner It's in Oysterwijk, the highest category in Holland. We're playing against a top 10 couple in Holland and we are going to focus on the serve and return because the serve and return is what makes or breaks us in our matches. The thing that we actually work the most on at the moment and I'm going to tell you why in this video. A full match is going to be posted soon on this channel. So. Subscribe to the channel. So the first clip you see that I'm serving a first serve in, very important, to the side wall, and it's immediately a point. It's not an amazing serve, so if you can look at the depth of the serve, it is still not quite close enough to the glass. So even though we won this point, I don't believe this is a very good serve of, of, of me, because the ball is clearly bouncing quite a bit before the glass and quite a bit before the service line. So if we look about the first thing um, that we're going to look into, the depth of the serve, then this is not a good serve, even though we won the point. So against better players, we are going to have a problem. The second clip, I miss the first serve, which is something you should, should not do so much. Um, but the second serve was actually quite good, it was against the glass, and I could get a quite okay good volley. And it was quite hard for the defensive player to play a very good lob. So uh, this lob was out. We won the point 30-0, which is immediately a very good score to begin with when you're serving. Third serve, and this one is very important. I am playing a not so deep ball. So it's quite easy for Bart to play the lob over my head. So with the first serve, I'm losing the net. There is no surface pressure. I think we can have surface pressure if, if, if we can force the defensive players to not play the lob. If the defensive players are able to play the lob, we don't play with enough pressure. Sometimes they just play amazing returns. I think this is still a good return from, from Bart. But um, if you look at the bounce where I play the ball, there should be more depth, especially if you are going to serve to the side wall, which I believe it is better to cut the side wall in half and play against the second part of the first side wall. You, you use the service line for that. If you play behind the service line, that part of the side wall, it is a much better serve because the ball is going to be more backwards and they have to step back and hit the ball. Uh, fourth one, so service out again, which is a pity. Then it's second serve. Uh, my first volley was just not good enough, I think. I don't think that the return was amazing, but I could do more with the ball. Uh, Werner is playing the return to my backhand, and I have a backhand. There is actually more space on the right side of Bart. For me, the left side, but for you all, the right side. But it is very difficult to play this backhand over there. But if I'm playing in the center, which I like a lot, um, because I want to pressure uh, Werner on the left side, but I'm playing too much to Bart. So my first volley has to be more on Werner's, the left player, his court. So he has to move more. Bart is already helping him. It is very important to maybe play a better serve, to get a better ball, to get the volley more precise. So the volley more to the same player. So I serve to the left player, I play the volley so the player on the left the, still gets the ball. Okay, so this is again first serve failure, so I missed three first serves in one service game. That's too much. We get a gift here, but it is, we have to perform better in first serves in. Uh, very good serve to the center, you can see that I am opening the court and I missed the volley. Pity, but that happens. Good serve from Werner, I think. He's coming to the net, but also a very good return, slow on the feet. So what I'm working on a lot is to slow down the speed of the return. So the net player, if you look at the length and the depth of the serve, it is very close to the service line. Because of that, it is actually a very pressureful serve but it takes it quite good and plays it slow on the feet of Werner so he has to move a lot and now after his folly we can play Chiquita to win the net position so then we are in charge of the rally again so sometimes the serve is amazing but the return is even better so um, I highly highly recommend if you watch those 
three shots, the first three shots of the of the of the rally dictate now more or less who is in charge of the rally. So if we can play the Jikita, we are in charge of the rally. So I highly recommend go and train your serve and go and train your return with with a friend, one against one. So now I felt like um, this was an easy serve. It is actually quite a okay serve because it's into my forehand body side. So my mistake is to play it to Bart because Bart is already standing in the net, the, the left-handed player. So what I should do is to play it a little bit more to Werner because he's coming to the net. Bart is somebody that is very close to the net. So if you play to him, he can pressure a lot. So this should be maybe a lop over Bart, the player in front of me, or more to the forehand side of Werner, because now he plays a very good drop shot and he wins the point. Again, Werner is serving from the right, and he's going to the left. He has a okay serve. He's serving to the forehand of Hits again, so he's opening the entire court. Hits has a very good return, slow on the feet on the backhand side again, so Werner has to move a lot to have a good backhand volley. This is also why when we are playing, if it's a golden point, we always choose to play Australian in our favor because now Werner has to move more to get the volley. And if Werner is serving from the left to me, he can play with more pressure because he doesn't have to run so far. Now you is playing the backhand and it can play the lob and we can win the net position after we playing this lob. So the return, slow on the feet, is able to get us the lob. Okay, so now my partner Itch is serving, and if you see the depth of this serve, Bart has to step a little bit back to play the lob. The lob is out, we win the point. We go straight into the second time he's serving. First serve, good to the center, and we can move Werner from left to right straight away. So it's good when you're serving to one player to volley to the same player again. And the height of the return basically depends on if we can pressure yes or not. So Werner's return was very low. I had the contact point lower than the net, so I had to lift up the ball or play a drop shot to keep pressure on him. So um, the serve, the quality of the serve depends the height of the return. Uh, if you don't have a good serve, they can play lower on the feet or the lob. If you have a good serve, it is quite hard to play it down on the feet and they never can play the lob return. So serve the most important thing where we are focusing on now in our matches. Now it serves to the side wall. It is a little bit the first part of the side wall. It is a quite good serve, to be honest. But maybe it's a little bit too soft. Uh, Bart steps back and he plays to it, but he can still play a very good overhead shot. He is only able to play the return cross courts lob. It is quite difficult for Bart to play over my head, which is a better option because I'm closer to the net, so I cannot pressure him again. But if he's playing the lob cross courts into his zone of it, it can play more cross court again. So we can still manage to keep pressure even though this is a lob. So if you go for the lob return to lob over the player that is already at the net, and if you choose to play a soft return on the feet, it is better to play to the player that is going towards the net. If the serve is super fast, it is also good sometimes to play very rapidly back to the player that is already there because they are closer to the net and then it actually might be harder to solve that fast return. Somebody that is further away from the net has more time to react to that fast return. So those are the three options I think you should work on. If you have time, lop over the player that is at the net. If you have time and you want to play low, play low on the feet of the server, the one is going to the net. If it's fast, try to figure out if it's good to play fast to the body of the player that is already there. Well, this is a very good serve of it because now he's serving quite deep in the backhand side. So this ball is not actually touching the glass, but the returner has to step back so he cannot pressure. So he gets a quite high forehand volley and um, he could have done a little bit more with this, I think, but um, this is a very good 
sign in how good your serve is. If somebody has to step back, your serve is good. And it doesn't have to be against the glass. This is very good to mix it up. Deep glass, what we do a lot, is very effective, but deep into the body, amazing. What I would recommend is to watch the returner. Some people are very close positioned to the service line in their return. If you serve deep on the service line, on their bodies, they have zero time to play a very good return. So then it's quite effective to play the deep serve on the body. Good serve of its also first serve in again, like five, four times in a row, which is very effective. And uh, I can smash the ball out straight away. We go to the, the, the other one, serve to the center, a little bit softer, and you can see that he can pressure straight away and the lob is out. So this is a very, very good serving from uh, my partner. It's, that's why I'm playing with him. Now it's uh, like a softer serve from Bart to the corner and it can play it from his zone. So the, the serve is basically coming into his hitting zone and he can play this wonderful soft return on the feet. So this is something that is very good is with, a, with some top spin and the ball has to bounce. He basically has to lift up the ball with the forehand and then we can do everything because this ball is coming up and uh, we can play the chiquita and open the court or lob. This serve is actually better from Bart because he's playing quite fast to the sidewall, which is a risky shot because he's opening his entire court. So, but sometimes now I wanted to play down the line to him because there was space there. This is a better way to serve to the sidewall faster because then the timing is more difficult. Now it's a very good example. He serves, it still has time, plays soft on his feet and I can go to the net. So in, th in two of our shots or maybe one shot, one return, we can take over the net. If you can do a very good return or you can do a very good serve, this is the key. I serve to the center and you see it's my partner already with a very good return, slow on the feet to Bart. We can build up from there again. It's a pity that we make a mistake, uh, the, the ball is against the glass, but you can see that the a slow return is so good, so good. And these guys are top 10 players and it works against them. So it, it can work against a lot of players, the slow return on the feet like it's is playing. If you have any questions about the serve and return or you want to see more things about the serve and return, please let me know below and we can make another episode. If you want to see more match analyze videos, let me know as well because then I can do that. I recorded one other match. It's and I are playing some other tournaments this weekend and I think we improved a lot and it's interesting for us to see what we are improving. And if I watch my own matches, I learn a lot from that. I highly recommend that you watch your own matches or record your own matches because how you feel in the match is not always the same as what actually happens on court. Sometimes I think I play terrible. I record the match, I watch it back and it's actually not so terrible. It is just because sometimes you get frustrated when you make some mistakes. Uh, but if you watch it back, you can see that, it, that, that the players at the other side of the court are just better and playing in a very clever way. And that's the reason why you're losing. Yeah, record your own matches and let us know what you want to see next. Hasta luego, ciao, adios.